Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to tonight's vodcast on the different circulation pathways in our cardiovascular system. So the different pathways that we'll be discussing include the systemic circulation pathway, the coronary circulation pathway, and the pulmonary circulation pathway. The first pathway that we'll discuss is the pulmonary circulation pathway. Now the pulmonary circulation pathway can be easy to remember if you know that the pulmonary word means lungs. So the heart is going to send blood to the lungs in the pulmonary circulation pathway. Now what happens is the blood that's the oxygen poor blood that our body returns back to the heart needs to pick up more oxygen. So the organ that has all the oxygen are the lungs. So your heart is going to pump oxygen poor blood to the lungs and then your lungs are going to deliver oxygen to the blood and then the oxygen rich blood will get, then get sent back to the heart. So that's how your pulmonary circulation pathway works. So let's take a closer look as to how it actually works with the flow of blood through the heart and the lungs. Now here we have a picture of our lungs and the heart and deoxygenated blood has come in through major veins into the right atrium. The right atrium will then contract sending this oxygen poor blood to the right ventricle. The right ventricle will then contract sending this oxygen poor blood to the lungs. And in the lungs, the blood will swap out carbon dioxide and then pick up oxygen. This brand new oxygenated blood will then return back to the heart through vessels called the pulmonary veins. And the pulmonary veins will dump that blood into the left atrium, then to the left ventricle, and then out to the body. So this is what the flow of blood through the heart and the lungs looks like. Now here we have a diagram of the pulmonary circulation pathway. So let's draw arrows to illustrate the movement of blood through the heart and the lungs. So first of all, your blood is going to enter the heart through one of two major veins. We have what's called the superior vena cava and we have the inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava is located at the top and this returns blood from the head and the neck to the heart. And then we have the inferior vena cava which brings blood back from the lower body. So this oxygen-poor blood enters the heart into the first chamber called the right atrium. And then the right atrium will then contract and send this oxygen-poor blood to the ventricle, more specifically the right ventricle. Now the right ventricle will then contract, sending this oxygen-poor blood through this major vessel again. And this vessel, bringing blood away from the heart, is called the pulmonary artery. Now in the pulmonary artery, the blood is delivered to the lungs where the blood then picks up oxygen from the lungs and returns the oxygen rich blood now through structures called the pulmonary veins. Once the blood leaves the pulmonary veins, it gets dumped into the next structure called the left atrium. And then the left atrium will then contract, sending the blood into the left ventricle. And then lastly, the left ventricle will then contract, sending this blood through this donut-shaped vessel called the aorta. And the aorta will then send the blood out through different tubes or vessels throughout the entire body. So this is the pulmonary circulation pathway. 